welcome to grade 9 cbsc chemistry class today we are going to discuss about chapter number 3 atoms and molecules i am sudhi here and we want to discuss about the chapter number 3 atoms and molecules now in the previous chapter we already discussed about what is mean by atom so here we want to discuss about atoms and molecules so related to atom there will be atom Uh, related to atom there will be atomic number we discussed in the previous chapter mass number we discussed in the previous chapter isotope isobar isoton like that but here in this chapter we want to discuss about what is mean by atom what is mean by molecule mole concept then uh, writing of chemical formulation that means chemical combination of elements like all the things we have to discuss in this chapter so moving to the introductory part of the chapter here in the heading itself indicates that the chapter is related to atoms and molecules as we all know that what is mean by atom for the simplification i already write uh, definitions for atoms and molecules here in the previous chapter we discussed about atoms are the building blocks of all the elements we can't see atoms through naked eye because that much tiny particle is atom so what is mean by atom the actual definition of atom is that it is the smallest particle of an element that shows all the properties of an element it is the smallest particle of the element that shows all the properties of an element whatever the property showed by the element that all properties showed by the atom also so atom is the building block of all the element and atom shows all the properties of the element and one thing uh, regarding atom is that the radius of the atom the radius of the atom can be measured in terms of nanometer so nanometer means 10 raised to minus 9 meter 10 raised to minus 9 meter assume that it is very 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 small that's why it is said that atom is a very small 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 particle that means tiny 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 particle so smallest particle of an element that shows all the properties of an element is called atom and it is the building block of all the element atoms and molecules are the building block of all the elements what is the difference between atom and molecules what is molecule it is also the smallest particle of an element or compound that is capable of an independent existence that is capable of an capable of an independent existence it is capable of an independent existence that is the small difference between atom and molecule and shows all the properties of an element molecules also shows all the properties of an element but it shows an independent existence as compared with an atom atom and molecules are also the smallest particle of an element but molecules shows an independent existence as we compare molecule with atom so what is mean by atoms and molecules simply smallest particle of an element that shows all the properties of an element is called atom and molecule is also the uh, also the smallest particle of an element or compound that is capable of an independent existence and shows all the properties of the elements or compound so that is atoms and molecules so related to atoms and molecules in this chapter the introductory part consists of a law the law is called law of chemical combination law of chemical combination law of chemical combination consist of two subsidiary laws such that law of conservation of mass and law of constant proportion law of conservation of mass and law of constant proportion so what is law of conservation of mass and what is law of conservation of proportion in the physics chapters we already discussed about law of conservation of energy what is mean by law of conservation of energy energy can neither be created nor be destroyed but can be converted from one form into another energy can neither be created nor be destroyed but can be converted into one form into another in the chapter gravitation we discussed about law of conservation of mass mass can neither be created nor be destroyed here also in the case of chemical combination in the case of chemical combination law of conservation of mass means 
mass can neither be created nor be destroyed in a chemical reaction. In a chemical reaction, mass can neither be created nor be destroyed. Mass can neither be created nor be destroyed in a chemical reaction. For example, uh, A plus B gives C. This is a chemical combination. Reactants and products. 